Hey guys and welcome to another video. So in this video I'm going to be going over some more tweets. I say going over, it's not like I'm teaching people things. Ow, I just poked myself with hand cream. I'm literally just going through some tweets that I've screenshotted over the months um, and just, well, analysing them really. I don't really need to tell you what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just analysing, that's all I'm doing. So this was a tweet that was, well, tweeted at me back in September and it just basically says to me, you're more than who you love. You're down to earth and good. You're strong, determined, and I am beyond proud of you. I admire you, and I cannot wait to see what you do going forward. And that was added to me. That was from one of my YouTube friends who actually told me a very, very deep story. I don't know if I can repeat it. I probably won't in this video. But told me a very, very deep story about her childhood and something to do with a boy and those sorts of things. So, yeah, I'm not going to repeat the story, but was a nice tweet for me. There was another tweet that I got from again one of my other YouTube friends, he just tweeted back in September as well. All right, I've got some rules. Don't demand thumbnails from me. Ask politely, I do get busy and I can't work all the time. Just because you may have more subscribers and followers than me, it doesn't mean anything. You don't have the right to tell me what I can and cannot do. And this is, again, this is a relatable tweet that I obviously screenshotted in the time when I had this happening to me as well. Just because someone's got like 10, 15,000 Instagram followers or subscribers on YouTube or DMs on Facebook or whatever, it doesn't mean you have to sort of like bow down to them and do whatever they want. I've got friends that have 50, 60, 70,000 followers on Instagram. I have friends that have hundreds of thousands of subscribers on YouTube. I don't brag about it, but like they are my friends at the end of the day and I know that they are genuine, they are real, and they don't treat people like crap. Like, the amount of times I've asked if they could do something for me, and they've done it, or the amount of times we've just met up and made videos and stuff like that. Um, a lot of people that do have followers, obviously, buy them, but a lot of people that have the followers have got the followers for a reason. So, it's not a fact of respecting them and bowing down to them, it's just a sort of why and how do they get those followers, but also uh, how can they help you to increase your well, your audience rather than being rude, being fake, or just buying the followers. I think this is again in, in relation to subscribers, and this is from Nicole again, who was in the last video. So she tweeted and she goes, It's sad when there are people who want to be in competition with you on subscribers. Why can't we just support each other and not be so hateful? I always love supporting other YouTubers and I'm always happy for them when they reach their goals. Everyone's amazing to me. So I think here, it's just the fact that some people are like, Mm, look at me, I've got so many more subscribers than you, I must be much better than you are. And then someone that's got a couple of hundred less is sort of just feeling a bit like, you can't really say that, like, you may have 600, I've got 300, we're both just as irrelevant as each other. But um, I think, yeah, there's quite a lot of hate that comes from the YouTuber community. And I know that there's actually hate inside the YouTube community itself within, like, different areas. You have, like, LGBT YouTube hate, you have religious LGBT religious um, hate so individual societies and communities within the YouTube community are also being rude to each other and those are the sorts of things that are going to completely wreck the small YouTube community the YouTube community as a whole is pretty much good and there are a lot of positive people and positive aspects of it but that for the individual people that are sort of ruining it and messing it up and creating hate groups and stuff like that that's the sort of thing and they're the sort of people you just want to avoid so i think this one's a little bit more positive but it is very random it's going to go positive negative youtube positive negative youtube negative youtube positive positive i don't know bouncer says you got id me lifts fringe to reveal my stress lines bouncer jesus fucking christ what are you 60 go on in you absolute goblin that's funny i can't relate though because i don't have any um a fringe and i don't have any lines someone else tweeted so why do people moan when they use the restroom i'm over here trying to shit and these mother effers are coming in like ah, rah, rah. <laughs> gabby hannah so again big youtuber oh she just tweeted i have so much respect for anyone who keeps their red receipts on um to be fair so do i as well because if you're too scared of having people know when you've read their message then you must be hiding something or you must be trying to avoid someone or something i was sitting in class and this guy kept staring at me and i was like um okay turns out he messaged me on grinder grinder and that's probably why and for those of you that don't know grinder is a social media app where gay guys can meet and hook up with other gay guys okay my mouse has just stopped working yes i did obviously have it at one point didn't really use it didn't really need to use it i pretty much just had it to stalk my mates 
because I know a lot of my friends have it and you can like tap people on the app so I used to just have it to tap my friends to then not actually doing anything with it so this is not really a well it is a tweet but it's not really a tweet tweet it's basically just the catch me outside girl aka Danielle Brogoli um, bad baby who has made a song with um, Clean Bandit so it's called Playboy Style it's Clean Bandit Bad Baby and Charlie XCX and she just tweeted you bitches asked for it so here you go she just pretty much put out the album and the fact that she's on one of the songs and then uh, Clean Bandit replied and put yeah I love Bad Baby and I'm sure I'm going to end up doing a review about her, her album, her everything at some point soon. Next one is from James Charles. Wow, that is an old profile picture. He's changed it since then and he's released his makeup um, brand since then as well. So he tweeted, it's crazy when YouTubers voice their issues about monetization on the platform and people come back with, you should be doing it for your fans, not the money. Like, would you be okay with showing up to your job for a week and not getting paid? I don't think so, Carol. So people are saying, oh yeah, you should do it for your fans, do it for your fans, which they are. They're making content for their fans. They're trying to make bra um, like bra oops, branded makeups and uh, all these things for their fans. But it's sort of yeah, w the the thing he's saying is true. It's sort of it's almost like as YouTube is their full time job, it's like turning up to an office job and then never getting paid for it. He's making these videos. He's putting these effort into creating these like works of art, and he's not getting paid for it. I I understand where he's coming from there. Danny Emily on Twitter. I'm sure this is just a one-off viral tweet that she's probably had. She tweeted, My seven-year-old sister has her boyfriend around for dinner, and here I am at the age of 22 eating pasta bake on my ones. Love that about me. Seven-year-olds having boyfriends, uh, I don't really, I don't believe it. But also, if it is happening, then what the hell has our generation turned into? Sophie on Twitter. So, the prep before a night out is so satisfying. Hair washed, showered, shaved, ready to misbehave. So that's more of a girl thing. I can't really relate to that. Pia is cool. She's another YouTuber. And she tweeted, I don't know how many times different people message me on different days saying I've influenced them, that they've listened to my advice and that they're inspired by me. It's a big fucking deal to me that I can actually influence people. Wow, wow. The future will be great. I love you guys. That's just a positive tweet. The fact that people are messaging people are interacting with her and her content that's the sort of positive stuff we want in the community rather than people just hating on other people Bryce Hall I think he's a youtuber he's some sort of famous person I think he tweeted some girl screamed daddy to me at the mall today and I said hey my beautiful offspring turns out she was talking to her father behind me awkward just me or does anyone else around me remember a funny part when they're in a serious situation like your mouth starts twitching because you have the urge to laugh so hard yeah like if you're in a meeting or if you're in an interview and then something funny just goes into your head I'm the sort of person that will just start laughing and like once once you've got me laughing I don't think there's any way of like resorting me or reverting me back to my normal my normal state so Demi Donnelly put on Twitter so she put right I'm going to prime up for this tartan skirt it better be nice or I'll be livid watch, you, watch me come back with hundreds worth of shopping now because Primark is so cheap the amount of times I've gone in expecting to look at one particular item or go in and get one Christmas present or birthday present for someone I come out with hundreds of pounds of stuff that's only happened once actually I think the, the rest of the times I've gone into Primark is either just to accompany mates to sort of be like their fashion helper sort of thing almost like the elf to santa i'm the elf to the friend um but no the only time i ended up spending hundreds um over 100 pound i think it was about 104 pound or 105 pound was on my christmas presents for people this year um well last year actually no 2018 yeah i christmas my pres christmas presents i bought for people last year with Christmas this year hasn't even bloody happened yet. I'm, I'm so zoned out. In and out sucks. I don't actually know what In and Out is. A Cali, so I think that's Californian resident. Okay, but did you order your burger from the secret menu after praying to your god on the twelfth hour of the fifth day of the week and made sure you got your burger medium rare with the correct combo of toppings with a side of special fries? Yeah, I don't get that. I'm not gonna lie, the one thing that scares me about growing on YouTube is not having the same relationship I have with the viewers. Like, say if I get to one million subscribers, I still wanna interact with you lot as much as I do because I mm, love you all for real. So, positive, but also a tiny bit cocky. Sort of saying like, if you get to the, if you get to the big stage, you want to interact with all of those people but it's going to be a lot more difficult than interacting with like five at the moment i have like five fans so i interact with my five fans i reply to them i text them i message them whatever if i was to then get five thousand fans i'm texting these five plus another new four thousand odd and it's like it would be absolute chaos my phone blows up enough as it is with twitter i don't think i'd be able to handle it if it blew up even more internet friends deserve so much more appreciation i want to spend this time to say to all of you guys that you're amazing and i appreciate you all from the bottom of my heart tag your internet friends below and show them some love and appreciation most of my friends well no most of my friends are made from real life um were from university from school 
YouTube, but YouTube turned to real life. So it's sort of, yeah, they're internet friends to start with, and then they become part of my crowd. They meet my real life friends, and then, yeah, just happens from there. A student emailed me profusely apologising for getting my name wrong on top of their paper, and I was like, thanks, whatever, ND MBD. Then I got to their paper and saw their instructor was... Wait, and saw their instructor was Professor What's His Nuts. I don't know what NDB means, but that's quite funny. It's sort of like a... It's like, haha, teacher. I don't know, don't really get that one. Nothing more awkward than when you look up on public transport and accidentally directly look a stranger in the eyes. That's relatable. That's one, another YouTube mate. If you don't like your own video, who will? So that's pretty much just like, if you're not confident in your own ability to make a good video, then one, why make it? But two, if you don't like it, who else is gonna like it? I did actually have that several times where I made videos and I said on Twitter, I was like, right, I'm not really a fan of this video, but it's gotta happen anyway. And I got a lot more positive comments. People saying, no, you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have said it was bad. Like, we actually liked it sort of thing. So that's what I need to start doing, being more positive about my stuff. I don't know how people don't prefer PayPal to cash. Like, I can't put cash back into my bank without talking to another human. Ill. But I can get cash from PayPal without having to communicate with anyone. Yeah, I don't really... I've not really used PayPal properly. But I have a PayPal pay thing. So if people need to give me money and they don't have a... Um, they have access to like a bank or something, they can just do it on their phone or online, but I've never actually used PayPal and I don't intend to because it looks complicated as fuck. Is there anything more annoying than people who have a cold and make that horrid noise when they breathe all their snot back into their brain, like blow your nose, please? It's like the, that thing. People that think they're too good to reply to their YouTube comments are actually jokes, like people don't have to comment or watch your videos, that's pretty much similar to what Gemma said in the last video, the fact that... Uh, even though you have a small audience, just replying to all of the people that um, comment on your videos, it's a, it makes you look like a better person, and it also shows you're interacting with your fans, rather than just thinking, ah, it's just another number, it's just another thing, basically. This is very relatable. Nah, running from Victoria train station to the coach station is actually an extreme sport. I think it's like a 15 minute walk. The amount of times I've got an Uber from the train station to the coach station, or the amount of times I've had to just get there like half an hour early, um, it is a little bit... It's a little bit tricky, and I think she followed up the tweet, she goes, Got off the train, sorry I had seven minutes to catch my coach. My bag is heavy. I most definitely ended up with a stitch and out of breath. <laughs> that is very funny, though. People in London can relate to that, I think, that going from the train station to the coach station of Victoria is more of a marathon than a walk down the park. When you're lonely AF, so you spend your evening looking at cheap giant titties on Amazon so you can get free cuddles from something who will never leave you or cheat on you. It's cute. I can't relate. I do have a little... Pongo dog, but don't really have a teddy bear. I don't have the screenshots anymore, sure. As in, I think that's to do with like a conversation. So if you have beef with someone and they go, right, prove it, it's sort of like, yeah, I don't have the, uh, the screenshots anymore. Just unfollowed a bunch of inactive accounts and people who followed slash unfollowed me. Couldn't believe how many there were. People I thought that were actually that were actually genuine. I won't be following anyone back now until we've engaged or connected beforehand because to be honest, I'm fed up with this bullshit. And that is why I did an Instagram clear out a while ago. Twitter, I pretty much just follow anyone that follows me back because Twitter's more of a a way that I promote my videos and anyone that follows me I genuinely assume is a YouTuber or someone in the media industry whether they're famous whether they're not whether it's just some random account from like Taiwan or something I'll let them follow me Instagram's what I believe is more of the personal one you only follow people you actually care about um, I have my account on public so anyone can follow me back but I don't follow them if I don't know who they are and I remember at one point I used to have like I was used to be following three four thousand people and I just thought to myself hang on I've got two thousand following me and I'm following almost double and I don't know who half or pretty much 95 percent of those are massive clear out and I've, I'm only following like 600 so I think sometimes a social media cleanse is good because it means you're clearing out the people that you don't care about and that obviously don't care about you because they're not engaging and it means you can focus on people that actually want to focus on you have you ever seen a girl in denial about being in a toxic relationship and want to grab her by the face and tell her how much better her life would be once she comes to her senses that shit is the absolute worst to stand by and watch after you've been through it yourself you've been through a bad relationship you've been through some toxic thing and you can see someone else going through the exact same thing and it's sort of like you want to help you're giving your advice you're saying how that you've been in this situation before and i've been in a situation where i have had to talk to a guy about his like, ex-girlfriend who was a little bit clingy he was a little bit rude uh, she was a little bit clingy she was a little bit rude and uh, i pretty much said to him look are you in a toxic relationship you clearly don't like her she's being really really weird with you she's getting 
she's trying to get her parents involved and her parents have told her like stop stop being stop being so clingy um and eventually he was just like actually you know what brandon i don't really know you but we know of each other you're right he dumped her and now he's moving on with someone else um and i think he's in a lot better position now so the fact that people that have gone through circumstances and people that have been in certain situations can pass on that knowledge to other people and that's what i try to do that's why i'm in a good place at the moment i've got nothing negative happening with me I may not have the most money in my account and I may be in a little bit of a weird situation with uni and getting actual, getting actual work done but I think mentally I'm in a positive place and I think if I can just help other people get through their problems then that's all I can do. I hate when extroverts are like ugh I have no friends when they're actually really social and they have so many fucking friends whereas I genu genuinely have no friends at all and it's not even an exaggeration I just don't have friends and none of them, none of my in real life's Want to, want to hang out with me. An introvert is someone that stays in, and an extrovert is someone that likes to go out a lot, and I class myself as both. Sometimes I will just sit in my room and either get a takeaway or cry myself to sleep and any of those sorts of things, but sometimes I can be an extrovert around the right sorts of people. Sometimes I will just sit in my room and either get a takeaway or cry myself to sleep and any of those sorts of things, but sometimes I can be an extrovert around the right sorts of people. I'm not just out there getting naked and talking to everyone in the street like there's a lot of people that i know and that know me primarily at university but i wouldn't class myself as a full extrovert like there are some days like i said where i would just sit down and be on my own um and a lot of my friends say no you're definitely an extrovert like you always go out clubbing you always blah 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 and i did last year i did last time i would class myself last year i'd class myself as an extrovert this year i'm pretty much extrovert around the right sorts of people introvert most of the time and that's what i like i like keeping myself to myself i don't want to be too open and give off the wrong vibes straight away especially when i know i've got my pro own problems to deal with it makes it worse and it gets me more stressed out when i have to then explain what the problems are and why i am the way i am sort of thing it's a very very simple tweet with a simple analysis around it but yeah introverts keep themselves to themselves extroverts are pretty much the go outers and i'm sort of in the middle at the moment oh my god a youtube gap year sounds cool like not op not uploading for a year and going and filming loads of content basically disappearing from the world for me for a year and then bam look what i did basically a gap year it's like a gap year from work but a gap year from youtube so pre-filming almost a year's worth of content in the moment and then just getting it all out the year after sounds interesting but i don't know if i'd be able to do that my life isn't that interesting at the moment especially with uni it's pretty much just going to uni coming back doing work having food going to sleep going uni and again again and again procedure for getting a thank you from someone when you held the door open for them one keep your eyes fixed on the culprit two say you're welcome three shake your head and four mutter unbelievable i don't really have many doors held open for me nor do i hold doors open for people most of the doors that we have are like the spinny revolvey ones so it's pretty much you just go in and push as and when you need to go like a mum pushing out a baby um yeah starbucks hired me and i'd be in there fucking up white people's names for the culture i did ask spelled jeff g-e-f-f -E -F, like jeff g-e-f for the hell of it now that's funny naomi has a bit of a bit of what's it called personality i'd happily spend 200 pounds in five seconds but when there's a four pound delivery charge that pops up the game changes to no fuck thank no fuck that i think i'll leave it that is very funny i don't really know if it's a girl's thing or a guy's thing but yeah the delivery with anything whether it's online or in real life with like ordering food or something when there's a delivery that's over a pound i'm a bit skeptical as to whether to do it or not i agree with melissa on that one um hi mother nature it's only 8 32 a.m can we tone down the humidity and heat right now turn on some air conditioning you cheap bitch you can do anything be anything belief is your first step the rest is getting yourself there enjoy the journey and don't give up you may be going through a crap time right now and you may be going through a really really negative stage right now but the fact that it's only happening now like the things that you're doing today and over the next few days will potentially help you become more positive and go on to do more positive things and if you believe that you're going to do something good you're going to do something good if you keep thinking negative and badly about all your, your life and your life choices and stuff then obviously you will have bad things happen i read an article that said if you saw your clone walking down the street you wouldn't even realize it because your perception of yourself is completely different than what you actually look like so now i can't sleep because i'm wondering what the heck i actually look like i know what i look like but obviously i've never been in someone else's body and had the opportunity to look at myself i say opportunity i wouldn't take it as an opportunity i take it as more of like a painful or 
painful thing. Everyone's perceptions of themselves are that slightly little bit not right. So it's sort of like, I could have walked past my twin the other day and didn't even realise. You know you're lazy when you refuse to drink water just in case you need to pee. Why do people like peas but not mushy peas? Some serious life questions I have on a daily basis. Yeah, that's true. They're basically the same thing. You've got normal peas that are just peas and mushy peas is just them crushed. I keep liking tweets retweeted by the same person. And honestly, I look like I'm obsessed, but it's all down my feed. With that one, I think people that I follow retweet all the same stuff as me so I'm retweeting all of their retweets and it looks like I'm just retweeting all of their tweets the things that they've retweeted are relatable I retweet that and it comes up on their feed for some reason so I'm going to just do one more tweet and then I'm going to have a third episode to do a few more so yeah this is the last tweet I'm going to read it's from chef underscore don't care and he I think it's a he put so my bitch ass neighbor called the police because i was smoking on the balcony the police get here and ask where the weed at i said i smoked it all they said where'd you buy it i said from the neighbor and now they at his house searching his shit so that's very funny it's sort of like it backfired on the neighbor the neighbor's the one that's doing the weed and it turns out that the neighbor's the one that's gone prison that's going to be it for this video because we are getting over the 25 minute limit and if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe this is something new that i've been working on a little series of me just reacting to some tweets that i've screenshotted from the past it's all very very recent but if you have been enjoying that don't forget to support the channel the likes the comments the shares the subscriptions and i will put a link to my blog my second channel my instagram and my twitter in the description so at least if you want to follow me and catch up with my life on any of them then you can i also have facebook snapchat but i'm not going to promote it if you find it great if you don't also great but yeah if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i will be with you next tuesday or friday for a new video and until then goodbye